Hey, hon. What you doing? Oh, Jack's been helping me out by opening every single jar in the pantry. Well, maybe I should have that talk with him now. Good. Here. What's this? It's a book I got you on how to talk to your kids about sex. Jack's outside. I didn't need a book to learn about sex. I learned from women telling me I was doing it wrong. <laughs> Bo, head in the house. I need to have a man-to-man -man talk with Jack. I hate men. <sighs> What's up? Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't have the whole man talk with you the other day because I was a little bit nervous. And part of being a man is facing up to things that make you feel uncomfortable. Okay. And Jack, I know you're coming up on a time in your life right now where things are gonna be sort of confusing for you. And I want you to know that if you have any problems or questions that you can always come to me no matter what. Thanks, Dad. Now, your, your mom wanted me to come out here and talk to you about sex. I already knew about all that stuff. Oh, good. Great. I, I mean, I figured, I figured you did. But since she's looking out the window, I figured we could just do that thing where you kind of look at me and nod every now and then and look interested. Like the firecracker talk. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, now, I'm just going to shoot through a few things here so we can kill some time. Um, first thing I want you to do is put your hands over your ears like I just said something really disgusting. <laughs> That's good, but don't oversell it. Okay, now, the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to start noticing girls. I'm already doing that. You are? <laughs> that's great. <laughs> I mean, you know, um, you're going to want to talk to girls, too, and you're going to want to hold their hand. Dad, I've already kissed a girl. Great. Check mark on the kissing. <laughs> <laughs> um, after a man has kissed a number of girls, he, he's going to eventually possibly want to marry one of them. And when they're married, then and only then, if the wife isn't angry and the man hasn't had too many beers and the bills aren't due, um, they take their clothes off, and in a beautiful, non-filthy manner, they, um... Have sex. Yes. <laughs> Do you know what that means? Having sex? Sure. <laughs> what was that? Well, what was what? That thing you do with your hands. What, what is that? You know, sex. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, you really don't know a whole lot about this, do you? Not really. Hey, uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, let's just get right at it. Um, okay. Here's a picture of a boy here. There's... Okay, obviously there's no headlines there. All right. Uh, all right, this is a picture of a girl. They're, they're, they're a lot prettier with the, with the skin on them, but you gotta get the idea. <laughs> I just think looking at girls was gross. Yeah. Believe me, I know what you mean. But now I kind of like it. You don't remember how you made that turn, do you? What? Never mind. I'll tell you what, let's just start at the beginning. You want to? All right. Now, women, they have eggs. And men, they have sperm. So how was the surgery? Well, not too bad. But you know, the doctor told me that Rodney never left my side. The whole time I was under, he was right there. Here you go, buddy. Oh, thanks. You know, I was afraid that when I became flat-chested again, men would stop buying me beers. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, what was that for? Because I think you're sweet. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Looks like somebody might be getting a little... <laughs> hey, buddy. You guys mind if I hang out and watch the news? Oh, you watch the news now? Man's gotta stay informed. <laughs> Ow! My hair! Who's the man now, huh? Who's the man now? 
heavenly.